Before this video starts, I just want to make sure that you guys know that I'm not a professional. This is just on personal opinion. Thanks, bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to... Guess who? That's just the business. Well, so, oh. today, we are going to be talking about my problem with Jay Brewer at Jay's Prehistorics. Okay, so first, before we begin, I would be holding Sherman, but he pooped. So I was going to hold Sheila, but then I forgot to grab her when we started. Second, I have something to show you guys that I got for my birthday that will be in the background, hopefully, of Astros and Phoebe's and Reptiles. Maybe right there, and it's perfect. Do you want me to show you where it is? Put comments down below. You have three seconds. Three, two, who knows? Alright, here it is. Yes! It is awesome! Is my mic still going? Look at this! Let's get the glare out. Look at it! It is so cool! Alright, alright, alright. This is it. It's so cool. Warning! Why reptiles? Live reptiles. Let's see if that's in the head. But then it has such cool stuff on here. It has a collared agama or a painted agama. It has a gila monster. What I'm ju thinking by judging by the head structure of that thing, is a, that thing is a ball python. Although it has two pits right at the front, so it could, like, look. Two pits right there. At the, at the, they're just at the front, so it could be a pit viper, but I don't think it's a pit viper way too fat. And then a green iguana right there, and a little leopard gecko down here, and a soft shell turtle. I think it's a soft shell. There's two types of turtles that look like that. I just want to say thank you so much. This is awesome. I love it. We'll be in the back of my YouTube videos. But now, my problem with Jay Brewer. And to tell you the truth, there are three things that I want to talk about about him and I do not want to cause negativity right here I'm saying it right now I don't want to cause negativity um, because negativity is bad we shouldn't have negativity um, I'm just saying stuff that I don't like honestly stuff that should change so let's hop right into it I have three categories which are as Clint would say number one that um how he opens his eggs and how he treats them like his um uh, snake eggs number two how his snakes i don't know about his other animals but his snakes are obese and number three number three is a tough one to tell you the truth because it's his snake some of his boomies pythons and i um, like retics and stuff are in two small of enclosures so started number one number one is he cuts his eggs open well he, he cuts it open which i'm fine with but how he handles them uh by the way if i look like the pale work it's because i just got off of it oh, this. um how he handles them i do not agree with whatsoever um he handles them really rough let's just say that because he cuts them open, which I'm okay with. I think I will cut my snake's eggs, my snake eggs, open when they are ready. But he does is he cuts them open and takes them out, which I think causes is bad because it causes stress on the snakes and makes it so they will, will have a higher chance of not surviving because there's so much stress on them. And I do not agree with that whatsoever, and I don't think that you should take the eggs out. I think you should cut them open, but let the snakes take their time, too. Um, his snakes are fat. I don't know if it's with his own other animals, but I know his snakes are very fat. Snakes are very obese, and a snake, when they lay eggs, like I see with his snake, it's supposed to look 
flat and skinny and deflated. But his snakes still look fat. And you can see scale spread with these snakes too. And, well, maybe not too much because they're scales when they're grown to their weight. But, um, they, it's just, when they're so f obese like that, it's not good, it's not healthy at all, and they will not live as long as they are said to live, which is 20 to 30 years, and maybe upwards of 40 years. Um, and so I think that his snakes are just way too fat. I don't know if it's with his other animals. It might just be his snakes. Um, I haven't watched his other animals. I'm, just, I'm mainly focusing on snakes in this video. But, uh, yeah. So I just think his snakes should be not so chunky. If I didn't already, here he does. Adam, I'm in style. I got this. Anyway, now on to the next one. Or the next one, whichever way. When they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Alright, number three. His snakes are in too small of places. And I can see that this is a very controversial subject. Because I see his snakes... And I, this is according to me, and I think that his, just, his snakes are in too small of an environment. And I know that big, these are the big snakes too. Um, and I know that he's a zoo, and the zoo looks good. Um, I'm not professional. I'm not saying I'm a professional. That should have been at the beginning. I am not saying I'm a professional in anything. I'm just saying what? This little noggin thinks, okay, so I'm not a professional. His, his zoo size cages are good. I just don't really like how small, like his Burmese python enclosures are. I know it's probably a nine foot tank or cage or terrarium enclosure, but I mean, still, snakes are still so big. I feel like snakes should have the opportunity to really get high because if you didn't know, three ticks. Are more arboreal, and I know we would not be able to keep these. You'd only be able to keep them in a zoo setting, and I know that, and, and I see that. And but it's like he can afford it. <laughs> he has a big zoo. He has four million, maybe five million now subscribers. He can get bigger cages. If you see people with not as big enclosures for their Burmese pythons, like in private collections. Then maybe they cannot afford this money and the room for big enclosures, which I think is okay. Although, yeah, I think it's okay. But and his snakes are, are, I don't know, I find them very protective of their eggs. And I'm, I don't know if Burmese pythons stay with their eggs or not, but um, I find them really protective with their eggs too. But yeah, I just, like, pop up with a picture. It's probably popped up before, but that picture, just the enclosures behind look too small. The snakes are, are trying to get busy and do it and stretch out. And because if you didn't know, retics are the biggest snakes on the planet. They're the longest, I'm not sure if they're the heaviest, but they're the longest snake. Or it's either they're the heaviest or not the longest. I'm pretty sure they don't, no, 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 they are the longest snake. They can get upwards 20 feet and up. Um... So, they should be in bigger enclosures. Boas, I think, would be fine. Nine-foot enclosure. Booms, I think, would be fine. But since this is a reticulated python, those are huge. So, I think they should be in bigger enclosures. All right. Now, what did you think? I, I'm not an expert whatsoever, but what did you think about this video? Should I do more controversial? I guess this is a very controversial subject. Next video, or the video after that, will be controversial subject. You just wait for that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Please do consider hitting the subscribe button. It helps out a lot, and I do not have to eat a cricket or a scorpion. I'm so happy and relieved because I didn't get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year. Yes, I'm talking to you.
you didn't subscribe. Because, like, 95% of you or whatever is not subscribed to me. I do not understand. I do not understand your personality. Thank you very much, sir. It's jokes, by the way. It's jokes. Um, but please do consider subscribing. It's free. Um, and, yeah, hit, hit like. Ring the bell icon. Because I post videos on random occasions now. I was really frequent with my videos. But, um... Just taking care of all of this and school has been a bit of a challenge, but so I'm not able to post as frequently. But videos will still be coming out, hopefully on a more regular basis. And yep, I got a lot of good ideas, and I need to do a lot of filming tonight because it's uh, it's a nighttime. So let's go get to filming, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.